know something, don't you? You know what's out there. I have a hunch. Yes? Come on, Bill. You never do anything halfway. What do you think we'll find? If we're lucky, another prize. If we're very lucky, something that'll end this miserable war. You're talking over my head, mate. Listen, Sean, I have no idea what we're going to find. But I do know that whatever it is, the Templars can't have it. Do you regret anything, Desmond? Like what? Running away? Leaving your parents behind, finding a shit job and pretending to be productive? What's it like spending your whole life avoiding hard decisions? Come on. Sure, you're an assassin. But it wasn't your choice. Do you have a point? I want to know if you regret anything. Sure. I wish I'd been more patient with my parents. I wish I'd listened. And Lucy. Maybe things could have been different if I'd... I'm not sure. Thank you. For what? For making sense. Sean, you feeling okay? Sure, yeah, yeah, of course. No, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're assassins, after all, aren't we, eh? Why should we be surprised if one of us dies every now and again? Every death is a tragedy to somebody somewhere. What I want to know is... Is Desmond worth all this trouble, you know? What, what is he? Is he the, the chosen one? Is that it? Little Jimmy special? Some bollocks like that? I'm afraid not. But what he has is rare. His genes contain high concentrations of first civilization DNA. Only about one in ten million are so lucky. Oh, the bleeding effect. Is that part of it? I believe so. I wish I could say we knew about his gift earlier. But it was the Templars who realized this. And they found him first. of an army here, and no signs of Tarek's men. Not so close, Adi Herif. Easy now. Tarek sent me. Only you? Why not more? I am enough. Where are your men? Captured by Byzantines over a week ago. I was dressed to look like a slave and managed to escape. But the others? Are you a capable fighter? I like to think so. Well, when you are certain, come find me. happened to see that we caught another of the Sultan's spies lurking about. A woman this time, disguised as a harlot of low birth. <laughs> Sending his harem girls now, eh? It seems the Sultan is running out of skilled fighters. Where did you take her? Inside. Into the prisons. But she won't last long. Not with Shakulu in charge.
How soon before my soldiers are trained to use those guns? A few weeks at most. Janissaries will know I have betrayed them by now. But do they have the resources for retribution? Doubtful. The Sultan's battle with Selim commands most of their attention. <laughs> ah! What the hell is that spell? Apologies, Manuel. Some of these Ottoman prisoners are so... fragile. Shakuru, try to moderate your anger. I know the Sultan humiliated your people, but there is no need to spit on men who are beneath us. You, take the woman from the prison and bring her to the chapel. Shakulu, I don't have the key. Find it! Who has the key? You? I think Nicholas has. He's on leave in the market. That Turkmen renegade did this. Shaku. I'll kill him! Wait! Cooperate very well. I'm here to rescue my men, not make friends. Right there. That armor is too thick for bullets. I will have to get in close. Janos, we have to help him. Can you walk? Evet. The rifles you brought, they should be destroyed. Most of them don't actually work. 
But the gunpowder is real. We could not fake that. Bene. Keep out of sight until you hear the explosions. Then, you run. Explosions? If you do that, all hell will break loose. You will panic the entire city. See, si. I am counting on it. And then what? Then I find Manuel Palea Logos. to fear. We are the true shepherds of Constantinopolis. We are the lords of this love. We are Byzantines. Moriah, stand fast. Do not let anyone break him. Stop that man! Cut him down! Take advantage of a poor and displaced people, using us to further your own vain quest. But we fight for dignity, assassin. We fight to restore peace to this troubled land. Templars are always quick to talk of peace, but very slow to concede power. Because power begets peace, Flaka. It cannot happen in reverse. These people would drown without a firm hand to lift them up and keep them in line. There he is. The monster I came to kill. Ah. <laughs> I should have been Constantine's successor. 
He had so many plans. Your dream dies with you, Manuel. Your empire is gone. Huh? But I am not the only one with this vision, assassin. The dream of our order is universal. What a man be something. These are only labels. Costumes and facades. We need these trappings. All Templars are part of the same family. Enough prattling. I am here for the Masyaf key. Then take it. Take it. And seek your fortune. See if you get within 100 leagues of that library before one of us finishes you off. I should not have put him in charge of our Masyaf expedition. He was an arrogant man. Impossible to keep in line. You disappoint me, Ahmed. Why the Templars? Because I am tired of all of these pointless blood feuds. That pit father against son. Brother against brother. To achieve true peace, mankind must think and move as one body. With one master mind. The secrets in the Grand Temple will give us just that. And Altair will lead us there. Delusions. Altair's secrets are not for you. I am not interested in arguing, Ezio. I am here for the Masyaf Keys. Keys? Are there more than this one? So I have heard. Perhaps I should ask someone who knows better. Sophia Sartor. Is that her name? She knows nothing! Leave her be! We shall see. I will kill you if you touch her! I know you'll try. Nicola Polo. Our time together was brief, I know. But I have faith this Codex will answer the many questions you have yet to ask. Altair, this gift is... invaluable. Grazie. So? Where will you go next? Back to Constantinople for a time. We will establish a guild there before returning to Venezia. Your son Marco will be eager to hear his father's wild stories. Uh, he is a little young for such tales, but one day soon, see? Father, a vanguard of Mongols has broken through. The village is overrun. Nicolo, your cargo and provisions are waiting for you by the village gates. We will escort you there. Uh, thank you, Mentor. Ready the catapults and watch for my signal. Stay close. Stay close. Let's move. Father, are you hurt? Uh, give me a moment. <clears throat> The 
end of an era. When I was very young, I was foolish enough to believe that our creed would bring an end to all these conflicts. If only I possessed the humility to say to myself, I have seen enough for one life. I have done my part. Then again, there is no greater glory than fighting to find the truth. We are ready. A last favor, Nicolo. Take these with you and guard them well. Hide them if you must. Artifacts? Of a kind. They are keys. Each one imbued with a message. A message... for whom? I wish I knew. Forgive the haste of my handwriting, Claudia. Much has transpired, and little of it good. I am on a ship bound for Constantinople, in pursuit of a man whose treachery has eluded me until now. Prince Ahmed, Suleiman's uncle, is the man leading Templars here. He is the mastermind behind the Masyaf expedition, and he will stop at nothing to retrieve the keys, all of which are now in assassin hands. So what holds me back? Why do I not take the keys to Masyaf myself and be done with these fools? Because I have been careless. Because the Templars know about Sophia and they are looking for her. Oh, Claudia, if anything should happen to her, I could not live with myself. I have dragged her into a war she knows nothing about. And it will be my burden to bear if she comes to any harm. This episode starts off with Desmond overhearing conversations between Sean, Rebecca, and Desmond's father, William. Desmond and the others are still struggling with what happened to Lucy. Ezio arrives in Cappadocia and doesn't seem to find what he was expecting until he looks a little closer. He ventures into the deep caverns of the city and meets with one of Tarek's informants. She gets arrested and her men are killed by a Templar named Shakulu. He is more demon than man, and Ezio knows what needs to be done and does what he does best. After helping the informant, she tells him the weapons don't work but the gunpowder does, and tells him where to find it. Ezio formulates a plan to flush Manuel out so that he can assassinate him. He ignites the gunpowder, causing a massive explosion, throwing the city into chaos. And as planned, Manuel emerges. Ezio goes after him chasing him down to a dead end where he brings an end to the Templar's malicious ambition. Surprisingly, Prince Amit shows up and makes it known that he was working with Manuel. He threatens Sophia in order to get Ezio to hand over the ancient keys. Too bad Amit does not know Ezio well enough to know he just signed his own death wish. In a grand scene, Ezio escapes the burning city and once he is aboard his ship back to Constantinople, the key triggers the next memory. In this memory, we get to see the moment where Altier gives the ancient keys to Niccolo Polo and escorts him through a Mongol attack on Masyaf. The episode ends with Ezio writing to his sister back in Rome, telling her about the events that have unfolded. With all the caution he has taken to protect Sophia, none of it seems to have made a difference. Stay tuned for the finale episode of Season 4 of Assassin's Creed. Editing video games into a TV series format is a lot harder than it seems. Finding the perfect start and end of each episode, and then playing the game in a way that matches the narrative of the story without the HUD. Then trying to edit around the in-game pop-ups as much as possible and placing the music in the right place to fit the mood and emotion of the scene. It definitely takes time and focus, but I enjoy the challenge, and I feel it's worth it to tell such an amazing story. I would greatly appreciate if you could share the channel and videos with people you think may enjoy them, and leave a comment. Comments help me out more than anything. Thank you for watching, and remember, nothing is true. Everything is permitted. <laughs>